So for one infected cell, we are killing thousands of uninfected cells. The result is that you're killing the person treated with AZT. It is by far the most toxic drug that has ever <coughs> been approved for long-term consumption in the free world. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Rappaport, uh, uh, unfortunately, we've lost one of our true greats, and that's Arthur Ashe. Uh, what is your reading on his and Nuriyev's deaths? Arthur Ashe, AZT plus DDI. He went on DDI in September along with AZT, and uh, as predicted, unfortunately, by several people, uh, this was going to hasten his death, and it did. Uh, in Nuriyev's case, we know that he was uh, taking AZT, and uh, the same thing happened. Uh, we're talking about drugs that create the symptoms that they're supposed to be curing. So you can imagine the bind that you could get in. You test positive for a virus that's never been proved to cause a disease. You feel healthy, you're fine, you go to the doctor, he says, uh, you have this virus, and of course you know the disease is fatal and so forth, and so we want to start you off now with early intervention with AZT. Three months down the line, you're now feeling horrible, you're getting infections, your muscles are starting to atrophy, and all sorts of terrible things are happening. You need blood transfusions, you're developing anemia, and the drug is attacking your bone marrow and destroying the very factory where certain cells are made that comprise the immune system. That's what it's doing. It's destroying your immune system. So now you say, doctor, I feel horrible, and I think it's the drug. And he says, no, my boy, this is AIDS. This is what you've got. Now this is the bind you're in. Now you don't know which end is up and what to do because the man in the white coat is telling you that he has the answer and you have to go along with the program. And now is a very fast slide downhill.